up, y'all? I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll be talking about what to look out for when shopping online, or me giving an advice to you guys to what to look out for when shopping online. <laughs> the shit I'm telling you right now is really what saved me a ton of money the past three years, bro. Mostly very simple stuff and thoughts. All right, coming to the first point, probably the most obvious point that I think most of you should do or is already doing. Um, before buying shit, start actually thinking about wants and needs. Like, is it a need? Do you need like, is it like a puffer jacket? Is winter coming? Do you need the shit? Or is it like just a want? Because, and that's not only based on clothes. Like, before I actually buy stuff, I really think one or two days, do I really need the shit? Because I'm, I'm not the best when it comes to uh, staying calm. I've done and I'm still doing a bunch of uh, impulsive purchases, but uh, it's getting better. And that's actually what I'm doing. I'm really like thinking about do I really need this shit or is it like or would it be nice to have? And I talked about this last video when I showed you my boa collection. It's most of the time it's only a want and then you have to and then you gotta think about do I really need this or is it like it would be nice to have, okay, but you know, there's better stuff to put your money in. Got me first of all nice finds. Because if you really, really see something that you think, bro, I need this shit, it's gonna be way better in the long run than buying like shit that's not. Oh, it's all right. I could, I could buy it, you know. Now coming to the first extra advice that you should do when browsing online, because I get like a lot of DMs about like, yeah, where do you find your shit? Where do you find vintage tees? The number one thing that stops you from getting good finds is so simple. It's your keywords. If you, if you put in like eBay or Grail or like Depop or whatever, vintage tea, they're gonna be, it's gonna be flooded with reprints, um, drop shippers, trashy teas, bro, Nike teas from 2K10, you know, you know what I'm saying? Bro, start doing keywords. The, the more, the more accurate you go, the better results, man. Like to be fair, when I'm looking for teas, I already know what to look out for most of the time. Actually, I just bought a t-shirt yesterday, a slogan tee, and I literally look for vintage slogan tee faded black. And, okay, and to be honest, it was only like 30 results, but probably five of them were pretty nice. And three of them were my size, so I got a very nice tee, I can show you a picture right now. And um, that's really the most important thing to look out for, keywords, man. On any platform, keywords can get you super nice finds, man. Even shit that you don't even find in the vintage store. Like, I bought a t-shirt from eBay, bro, that I've, it is probably my most favorite t-shirt of all time. And I got it for like 80 euro, and only because of keywords. Instead of looking for like vintage graphic tee, which is okay, it's, 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 uh, it's valid. Sometimes I look for vintage graphic tees because I wanna, wanna get like a little more random shit. But start looking for like vintage, Tech companies start looking like a vintage tech company t-shirt, vintage uh, electronics. Like you will find great t-shirts or like, you gotta be more accurate. I don't have great ideas right now, but um, that's what I'm doing. Because sometimes I see so nice t-shirts on like archive pages and shit, but you don't find them. You gotta look for them really specific. That's why the vintage stores have so such a great selection. But you don't want to pay the price of the vintage stores, like the, the, the famous ones, you know. You can get the shit for like 30, 20, 10 dollars. So, um, keywords, man. Keywords. One thing that has saved me a ton of time, personally, uh, I'm doing a lot of sizing by myself. So, we're talking about sizing. Due to like I'm making my own clothes, I know what size I pick. I know how my inseam is. I know what like my preferred length is when it comes to t-shirts it shouldn't be longer for 70 it shouldn't be longer than 70 centimeter for example and this should save me a lot of time when browsing online bro like i see like the description bro length is 73 centimeters i'm not buying this shit or i'm buying it to get a tailor you know so stop annoying the sellers for like 50s and shit just just note down just write down your like preferred sizing like inseam front rise waist when it comes to pants 
well, for me, very, very important is like the leg opening should be like around 21 to 27 centimeters. Um, or like the t-shirts, the chest, the length and the shoulders and you're good to go, man. You already know. I mean, sometimes vintage tees say it's an XL, but it actually fits me, you know, or the other way around. So if you got the sizing, you're on the good side. And first of all, you don't get disappointed when you put that shit on and it's like a muscle tee. And second of all, man, you save a lot of time. So that's, that's, that's another advice. It's pretty, it's common knowledge, but you know, all right, a very common question for my DMs is, where do you shop, bro? It's like, of course there's Grails, um, Depop, but I'm also shopping a lot on eBay because I'm telling you, eBay got this shit, bro. eBay, um, eBay really got the good prices. It's a bit of an, it's a bit annoying to, to look for shit because there's a bunch of trash because it's eBay. It's not a fashion platform, first of all. Uh, but I'm I'm mostly shopping on eBay, Grails, Vinted, and very very rarely like Depop or like Yahoo auctions. So that's what I'm doing. But um, I gotta say, uh, start checking out your local platforms. We have Vinted in Germany or like in Europe in general. There's, I th I'd say the, the the I'd say the majority is like 16 to 26 years old. So. They are fashion interested, you get to see good shit, but not like very, very selected shit. Sometimes there's pretty good finds, but you know, you gotta pay the price because they have knowledge, uh, at least some of them. And uh, if and if the seller has knowledge, man, the price is up there. Another thing that is like very important when looking out for like vintage is true vintage or like a reprint. Most of the time you see like in the first second that it's fake. Cause like the print is too good, it's like too crispy, too too new, you know. For example, if you look for T-shirts, start looking for like notice of wear or like uh, holds or like singer stitching. Because real vintage T-shirts that are like from the '90s or before, even like 2000s or before, are all are most of the time like nine out of ten t nine out of ten T-shirts are singer stitched, just like this blank tee. That's one thing you can look out for. Like from the 2000s, like t-shirts are double stitched and uh, this could this could mean that it's a reprint or like a new OT. But uh, you just gotta make sure to not buy reprints. Most of the stuff I was talking about is like based on vintage finds, but it's basically for everything. I mean, like, like this magazine right here, man, you can find you can find good magazines by using good keywords and that's basically the message of the video man I just want to reflect a bit and give you like my tips that I made over the past years because I spent so much shit on useless shit and um, so uh, I have a lot of industries in my closet but I don't wear it because in the moment I looked at it I thought it's cool but nowadays I'm only buying stuff that I the moment I see it, I think like yo this shit is fire, I need that. I really like reflecting with you guys and talking about like new new things and shit. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And with this being said, thanks for watching and see ya. Peace.